With distance learning in full swing, parents are getting a front row seat to their child's behavior in the classroom. For some, that means noticing that certain things don't feel quite right. October is ADHD Awareness Month. I spoke tonight with Dr. Ethan Schwer about the signs to look for when your student is struggling to learn. Okay, Ethan, we know Groves Academy works with students who have learning disabilities, whether that be dyslexia or ADHD. So what are you starting to hear from parents now as they've been watching their children at home attending school, of course, from a distance, uh, anything in particular they've been seeing about their learning habits? And I think that's the big thing is that they've been seeing these things firsthand, uh, things that maybe a teacher has said in the past that a child has been struggling with. And so with the distance now, hybrid learning especially, uh, they've been seeing some of those signs and symptoms of possible uh, attention disorders, learning disorders. Uh, and I think it really confirms some, maybe some of those gut feelings that they may have had that may signal that a learning or attention disorder may be present. So what are some of those gut feeling signs they're seeing, maybe specifically for ADHD? All right, so for ADHD, uh, there's, there's three different types of ADHD. So First, there's the inattentive presentation of ADHD, and the signs and symptoms of that are going to be troubles with maintaining atten attention, uh, maybe some troubles with organization, maybe uh, difficulties with time management, uh, can, which can really manifest uh, when they are a little bit more independent in their learning at home through distance and hybrid scenarios. The other type of ADHD is the hyperactive impulsive presentation, uh, where there's more hyperactivity, impulsivity, troubles with regulating behaviors. And the third type of ADHD is that combined presentation, which captures both the inattentive and the hyperactive impulsive presentation. Now, within these signs and symptoms, uh, it's important to note that there's a, a very strong uh, a genetic component to it, so it runs in families, and it can be very well tied to learning disorders. And another thing you mentioned earlier was uh, dyslexia. For that uh, learning disability, what specifically are some of the signs that parents might see in their children? Absolutely. So with dyslexia, we're talking about a very specific reading disability. And, and like ADHD, there can be a very strong family genetic component to it. Uh, but usually this is developmental in nature, and the signs will be troubles with learning their letters, learning their sounds, maybe troubles with rhyming. A very strong telltale sign of dyslexia actually can be spelling. And then this will continue to manifest as they grow older, well, they'll struggle with their fluency of reading and also with their comprehension. But also, in addition to dyslexia, there's learning disorders in math and learning disorders in, in writing as well. Um, so, and same thing with dyslexia, it'll start off at that developmental area where they struggle with those very basic building blocks and then it kind of progresses from there. Now, what's another important thing to kind of understand with learning disorders and ADHD is there's a lot of misconceptions that are out there with these. Um, and that can also help you uh, identify if there's a potential learning or attention disorder. One misconception that's out there is if you're getting good grades that you will not be having ADHD or a learning disorder. And that's just simply not true. And we see many kids that are spending hours and hours of time at home studying and trying to overcome the difficulties that they're having. Um, other things that could be signals that may not be ADHD or learning disorders would be some things that are connected like anxiety, depression, or simply lack of sleep can really affect your ability to attend. Let's say a family wants to find out more, investigate it if you will, maybe even through uh, your organization. So what could that investigation look like for a child uh, at Groves if they're trying to figure out maybe if he or she has a learning disability? We would recommend that they, there's many great organizations in, in the Twin Cities where you can look and, and look at an evaluation. At Groves Academy, what I tell parents is, is simply call and talk to them. So at Groves Academy, we're going to be very honest and forthright with you. We're going to walk you through those steps. We'll tell you what an evaluation entails. Uh, and it's simply going to be very much like a school day where we will look at them thoroughly, looking at their cognition, looking at their academic skills, look at uh, social, emotional, executive function. We'll, we'll usually uh, in, uh, it entails some neuropsych assessment. Uh, and then once we are all done, we're going to walk the family through our findings and give them the right roadmap to help them with their child's learning and, and maybe improve outcomes. Um, the other thing that you'll want to consider is making sure that they have the right uh, safety precautions in place with the COVID-19 
uh, scenario that's in plan right now. And, and we really adhere strongly to a very strong safety protocol and make sure that you and your child feel safe within that. You'll find more resources on navigating the school year at home on WCCO.com.